great morning, Axial Builders around the world. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and you are now watching Scale Wars, Axial's Battle of the Builders. Hmm. What's going down, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Scale Wars. You already know who it is. It's your boy Coleman, and uh, I'm stoked right now. I know that sounds like a double intro how I do that, but it's just... It is what it is. So anyways, I'm really excited, but first off, I gotta say I'm sorry. I apologize for the late episode today. Yesterday was my birthday, and dang it, man, I just, I, I had to do it. I took the day off. <laughs> Told myself I wasn't gonna do it, I was gonna work, but my wife convinced me. I took the day off, and I enjoyed it. And we had, it was just, a, it was a good time. I had a great day, a great evening, ate some good food, and, and it was just a good day. So, and the sun was shining, it couldn't have been better. So, Ah, sorry for the late episode, you guys. Every once in a while, I just got to take some time for myself. So that's what I did. And um, anyways, now that I'm 33, another year older, and it was my birthday, I figured I'd do a pretty cool episode today. Um, switched it up. There's been a lot of Jeeps on lately, and you guys know why, because there's a lot of Jeep RCs out there. So that's always going to be kind of a thing. Jeeps and Toyotas are just really common. So, But I switched it up. Today we're doing buggies. We've got three awesome builds and um i'm just gonna let you know right now I i'm honored to have these guys on the show they all build great and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy them too be sure to give them feedback be sure to leave a like be sure to subscribe and most importantly be sure to slap the hell out of that notification bell so you can join the scale squad man you can be part of this whole thing that we do here every saturday we upload scale wars and then of course i've got my other videos throughout the week so if you subscribe to this channel, you can expect a minimum of three plus videos a week. Uh, motor Control, Camp and McCormick, and Scale Wars, as well as usually a live stream and um, possibly even some action videos throughout the week. So you just never know what you're going to get here. It's worth subscribing. Anyways, you guys, you already know what time it is. Where are we heading? To the battleground. I'll see you there. Let's go. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Scale Wars Battleground. It is about to go down. First up today, we have Curtis Plimmel from Alberta, Canada. Curtis is 15 years of age, and he has been subscribed to Extreme Scale Performance for one year now. So thank you for your subscription, sir, 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 I can't even talk. Thank you for your subscription, sir. And uh, shout out to you, shout out to Canada. Much love. I know we got a lot of hardcore viewers and uh RC fanatics up there in Canada so shout out to them um, he doesn't have a name for this project but it is an axial wraith and as far as his parts and paint list goes uh, let's see here um, it is 2.2 RC four-wheel drive raceline wheels Holmes Hobbies Trailmaster BL Pro uh, he has a 3300 kV setup it's a Castle Mamba Max Pro ESC, a Castle BEC, he has a Vanquish rear axle, oh, he's got Vanquish rear axle shafts, my apologies, he has a two-speed transmission, Crawler Innovations 2.2 foams, Savix waterproof servo, RC four-wheel drive aluminum steering link, axial front and rear lower links, aluminum panels, Proline Jeep body, um, axial Griffin radiator, Traxxas big bore shocks. He classifies this build as an Ultra 4, and on a scale of 1 to 10, he rates it a 7. So, not too shabby, man, not too shabby. It looks good. I'm going to go ahead and give my just my initial thoughts on this. It looks good. I like the short kind of nature to it. Um, the back end seems nice and tucked. The front end seems nice and long. Uh, it's got a cool Ultra 4 look. Love the cage work, like all the netting that you've got going on in the cage. That's awesome. The chain is a little distracting just because it's not very scale. Uh, it's not the right type of link set up there, and so it just doesn't really go with it. I would like to see some actual like Ultra 4 style toe straps, things like that instead. Um, definitely have like you know some some sort of recovery strap instead of a chain there it would just be a little more realistic and a little more uh like what you would see in ultra 4 i guess um i like that you've got the top decorated that looks cool i i'm trying to tell what this is but i can't quite make it out um it's cool it looks good i like the minimalistic you know sticker approach you didn't go too crazy with the sticker bombing which is good i like how you chopped the back here um did the the like the notch back mod there I, I forget what they actually call that but it looks good whoop it sounds like we got a semi unload now so i sorry about the extra noise there 
Mm. And some coffee. But uh, overall, it looks good. And obviously, it looks like it's got some wheel speed. The tires and the wheels being 2.2s, eh, with this profile, it looks a little big. It almost looks like it'd be better on 1.9s. And we need to see the axles. So let's go ahead and start going through these photos here. And today, we're going to try to just move right along. So... All right, first up is this side view here, and I can see that this is a homemade panel. You can see where it's cut here and folded. He did a good job. It's kind of perforated edges, though. Um, I would have liked to see probably some smoother edges. I mean, I know that's nitpicking, but just that looks like it could hurt. <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know, but I like it, and I just noticed this. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but look at He's got Rebel, Maxis. Um, I can't quite make that out. Curry. Uh, something else I can't quite make out and poison spider all on there now I'm not sure how he did that but it looks awesome maybe they're just clear stickers or maybe they're kind of rubbed it I'm not really sure how he did that but I think that looks cool right there maybe they're left over because he used to have stickers there not sure but I think it looks awesome that is really cool just real subtle little touch um, that adds a lot to it the wheels look nice I love the scale hardware it is awesome on the wheels I don't know if you guys can see that but Scale hardware all the way around there looks great. Um, however, with all the scale hardware, it would be great to see some brake disc action in the background here. So if you had a brake disc set up behind there, and if you had some sort of a uh, hub cover here, like a, a wheel hub, you know, a hex hub, they've got a different different kinds you can use to put on there just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I know Vanquish has some. I don't know if they work with these wheels. You kind of got to hunt around to find what works with what set of wheels and what hub size and what bolt pattern and all that but um i know there's a bunch of options hot racing makes some the axial makes a factory one so uh it'd be cool to see some sort of you know scale locking nut or scale hub on there that would definitely help out there um let's see oh and now i hear all the beeping going on back there too that semi is gonna make some racket sorry about that guys um, let's see. I don't, I'm not seeing a whole lot more from the side. I do see your Mamba ESC in there, your Castle ESC. Um, looks like you are running pretty simple setup on the shocks. Uh, I thought you said, didn't you say Big Boars? Traxxas Big Boars. Okay, I thought he said Proline Big Boars, but these are the Traxxas ones. Okay, I got you. I got you. They, I'm sure those work great too. Uh, Traxxas big bore shocks were always, you know, just fine until you like got too crazy. Looks like you might have some leaking issues. I see some build up down there, but yeah, it, it's a good looking rig, man. I like it a lot. Definitely like it a lot. And this wheel and tire combo looks like it's fairly new still in this picture. Um, all right, let's keep it going here. I was going the wrong way. Here's the other side. And there we go. So here it looks like what happened was the stickers on the other side actually fell off maybe or they were all just clear ones and I'm not I'm not sure how he did it, but he's got different stickers on this side. So um I, I, I'm not so sure how I feel about the mismatch sticker layout cuz on the other side they're in a different layout too. So if you look on the picture this one they go like this and then this one uh, they're kind of just random place these have axial and overland on there yeah so i'm not a fan of the sticker place i think just pick one you know and try to keep it uniform on both sides you can mix and match the stickers but keep the layout of the stickers uniform um it would I, it just looks a lot better in my opinion that way um uh, i can see some wires in here uh so we may have some wire tuck issues uh, i wonder where the battery's mounted I don't see the battery. Is it in the back, maybe? Maybe he's got it right here. Maybe he did the front battery mod. All right, let's keep these pictures going. There's his proof shot. He cut his face off. That's all right. He probably didn't want his face seen on there. I understand. Some people like to be private. He may be underage. Who knows? So, uh, It's a good-looking rig, though, man. Overall, it's a good-looking rig. There's not a whole lot to it. you know. It looks like you're just getting started on it, so I'm sure you have a lot more improvements to do in the future. Um, let's, let's go through the rest of the pictures real quick and I'll give you a couple recommendations. Uh, the interior. All right. Let's see. What do we got going on? Yeah, it's not much I can see from there. Looks like he did like the, you know, the partial interior, like the bomber interior is what it looks like to me. Um, there's really not a whole lot to go on here. This is an older submission, so we don't really have all of the newer required photos like I like, but 
Eh, you know, it's factory. There's not a lot I can say about that. It's just like a factory axial interior. Um, in the back here, let's see, we got the Griffin radiator. That's cool. I like that. It looks like he did some custom paint job on it. He even painted the fans on the inside. Props to you on that. That's cool. Painted the screws as well. Gave it his own custom look. I like that. Oh, sorry guys, got the phone going off. Um, the chain though, man, the chain kills it. Not a fan of the chain. Um, maybe like a sway bar set up in the back would look cool and then do like some scale recovery gear mounted, you know, somewhere up here or something, something like that. Maybe get like a, a high lift jack and a scale recovery uh, strap would look good. Um, maybe throw a battery or something back here. Just, you know, a little bit more scale detail would really help out. Um, and as far as like recommendations go, oh, here's the front we can see. Looks like you got like a slit in the front here for like a, maybe it's like a, um, you're going for like that, you know, like a hood vent sort of thing. I don't know. Eh, eh. If that's what you're going for, it's kind of not really the most effort put into it, but it's cool. It's cool. It's something. Um, again, with the random stickers, shout out to pirate4x4.com. If you guys don't know about them, check them out. Epic. They got the axial sticker, got the icon, you know, the standard stickers, but I would have liked to see some proper placement on the stickers. Now that I see them all, you know, it's just, they seem really random. And in the front down here, it looks like you had the bumper painted at one time, it all faded off. And then you got the blue servo and horn, so I'm not sure what the color scheme, you got the blue, the red, the silver. Seems like you might be a little all over the place with trying to figure out your color scheme. I would sit down and just kind of think real hard what you want to go for what what the you know end result is that you're looking for and then just start working towards that um always helps to have the game plan instead of just going random you know like just doing things so uh maybe get an aftermarket bumper on here you know the wordy made bumpers for the wraith are awesome there's a bunch of other aftermarket ones you can look into um just you know i i would i would look into stepping that up a little bit get something a little more custom there it would definitely give it more of an ultra four look and i know this is the real bumper off the real axial wraith like the one one so there's really nothing wrong with it um but that paint i would just go ahead and flake that the rest of the way off there bro and other than that yeah, it's pretty dope man it's a pretty good looking rig um underneath you got some wires showing here man there's a lot of wires showing and if you're really rallying this a lot that's probably not the best place to put your bec I would have that tucked or hidden or maybe put a, a skid plate, you know, like the, the boat side panels or something over this to help protect that from debris. Um, lots of wires showing, man. Lots of wires visible. Like these wires are all going back to the same place. Why not take a zip tie or something, put those together, or maybe a little cable loom or something, black cable loom, run them both through that loom together. It would help just make one black uh, cable going back. Um, if you had that panel over this, you wouldn't even see that or these and that would alone would make it look 10 times better so uh, that's my recommendations there uh, you're probably gonna get docked a little bit on the cable management um, from the top that looks good man that looks cool I like the like I don't know it's like this rough kind of uh, I don't, I, I'm at a loss for words I forget what the word is I'm looking for <laughs> but like a, a rough feel to it you know it looks like it's definitely not smooth it's texture that's the word I'm looking for like a rough texture that's cool I definitely like that I'm a fan of that for sure I would like to see more people step it up with the texture game man and it doesn't always have to be smooth panels that's a cool way of doing it so anyways all right let's keep it moving that looks like that's the last one as far as recommendations go I would say you know just before you buy anything or do anything else take the time to really stare at it as something I do a lot I just sit and I stare at my rigs and uh, come up with an end scheme like a uh, uh, overall scheme nothing vague like really think it through come up with the color scheme come up with the end look you want to go for and then really start working on that you know and get the correct parts um, it, t it take your time there's no rush you know you can take as long as you want to do these things so um, take your time save up get the right parts you don't have to buy expensive parts just get the right parts I would love to see more of a three-dimensional interior like the axi actual axial wraith interior is really good I prefer that over the bomber interior um yeah anyways that it's a good looking rig so that's about it for that one on to the next one thank you very much curtis for submitting your build i really appreciate it don't forget to check out your scores in uh the skill wars tab on the ax or on the axial on the extreme scale performance website so www.extremescaleperformance.com backslash 
Scale Wars, and uh, it's the, under the Scale Wars tab. Scroll down under the application to submit your build. Um, you will see the score sheet, and that's where uh, you can keep track of all the scores from each episode. So, anyways, on to the next build. All right, you guys, we have our second submission here today on the battleground, and uh, it looks like this is coming from Micaiah Holt. And Micaiah Holt is from Redding, California. He is 39 years of age and looks like he looks like he has been subscribed to Extreme Scale Performance for about a year or so, he says. Um, started building RCs around 1992 and this project, he says, is axial based and its name is Training Wheels. So it looks like it's all tires, so that's a fitting name there. Um, detailed parts and paint list. Uh, let's see the chassis he says is now it's hand built by me based off the recluse chassis so and I need to clarify this so you guys realize that he is still meeting criteria here <clears throat> he did not use a recluse chassis what he did is he built his own chassis based off the recluse uh, layout or design and he actually used an axial skid plate so that for the buggy category I have made that legal to because in the buggy world in the ultra four world a lot of these guys build their own cages right but and it is a requirement and I'm going to be updating this on the uh, website as well but it is a requirement that they at least run axial uh, skid axial axles and uh, axial transmissions so if there's not an axial skid plate and it's their own custom chassis, it is not going to count. So that is for the buggy classes and, and the racing classes, things like that. Just just so you know. And, um, you know, if I need to clarify on that more down the road, I will. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying and, and can keep that, you know, simple. So let's see. He says he based it off the recluse design, but he changed a few things to make it his own. Uh, his handmade aluminum panels. Uh, axle, whoop, I'm blown up over here. Axles are uh, VP Curries with curry or with axial over uh, and under HD gears. Drive shafts are SSD scale steel drive shafts. The trans is a VP case um, with hot racing metal gears. Let's see the wheels and the tires are uh, what's he got? VP methods wrapped in Proline TSL. Uh, XL Swampers with Crawler Innovation Dual Stage Foams. The links are Incision Still Links. The servo is a Savix SB2290 SG 700 ounce torque servo. Um, the ESC and motor is a Tekken RX8 paired to a Tekken Rock 412 2200 kV. This is his only rig that doesn't have Holmes Hobbies electronics in it. And shout out to you for repping, man. Um, Shocks equal RC four wheel drive 100 millimeter King shocks. Uh, also has exclusive RC lighted tack GPS race pack dash. Um, Wraith interior and one two mini RC light bar. On a scale of one to ten, he rates us a six. Okay, so that's yeah, that's not too bad. And then uh, as far as people he would like to shout out, he says. He would like to shout out. Uh, he would like to thank his sponsors all around RC and hobbies in Redding, California. So, all right, that's awesome. And sorry, you guys, I, I kind of lost it there at the end trying to read all that because I didn't have it all on the screen. So, <clears throat> I actually read this stuff from a second screen that you guys can't see. So, all right, so let's get into this build. Now that we know what's in it, and we we've we understand you know his mindset behind the build let's go ahead and take a peek here my first just right off the bat like what what does it say to me I don't know to me it says aggressive it says action it says uh, it says he's not scared to drop hammer on this thing and and make it do work and I can dig that so what do you guys think what's it telling you uh, my initial impression it seems tough. It seems rough. It seems like he's uh, he's definitely built it to be abused. It's got a lot of tire on it, um, so it's definitely going to go places. Um, looks like the drivers probably get thrown out a lot, or the driver and the uh, uh, passenger look like they probably get thrown out a lot, <laughs> unless they're like zip tied in there or something. Uh, the Currys look good on there. Definitely a good look with the axles. 
Um, he's got on axle servo, so that means he's taking the racing serious. Uh, most of the people that keep it on the axle, uh, they, they're doing that to avoid bump steer. Uh, so yeah, it, it looks like he's, looks like he's serious about this stuff, man. It looks like this thing is a performer to me. Um, also a great picture. So yeah, definitely shout out to stupid shit head for that. And, uh, yeah, let's keep it moving. Next shot is from the top. Now... It's pretty simple, man. It's a race buggy. There's really, you know, it's not a lot of flash going on here. I would say it would have been cool to see this cage powder coated or painted. Um, if it was painted, you cannot really tell anymore. It's just raw metal and rust, which is also a cool look. You know, I'm not going to hate on that. So it, it, whatever, the surface rust gives it a really cool look as well. It, like that really used look and I like that I'm a big fan of the rest so it could go either way um it would have been cool probably to see it powder coated though just because it's it's a U4 truck it's a race truck and then most of the time I think I, I could be wrong and you guys correct me in the comments if I am but I think they're usually powder coated chassis or painted chassis well I, I don't really know um so I can't I, I can't really pass judgment on that but I I believe it would have looked better with the powder coated chassis on this particular setup. Uh, he says he welded this himself. Uh, you can see there are definitely some homemade style welds here. These aren't like no factory style welds or no laser welds or anything like that. Um, he probably did it himself with like a, you know, a simple Harbor Freight welder or something. Uh, shout out to him. I can't really even weld, so I give him props on that. That custom fabrication goes a long way on this show. Um, let's keep it going. Here is, looks like passenger side. He's got some boat side panels here. I like that. That's realistic. I really like to see that. Um, I like how he's got the King Shocks logo right there by his King Shocks. So you can just see, I don't know, that's that's realistic. You would see something like that probably in real life. He's repping for NorCal Crawlers. That's cool. Shout out to all the NorCal crew. Um, these KMCs are looking good, man. I like that. Now, here's something I have a little bit of an issue with. The black and green with the blue and then the red is a lack of color scheme. We don't have we have a lack of scheme here, like a lack, a lack of theme. Um, I'm not really catching on to the like a pattern at all. I'd like to see a little bit more of some, you know, like color coordination. And since you're rocking all these king shocks and stuff, maybe get something that works with that, you know? Or you've got the red too from the NorCal crawlers if you're repping for them. Um, and you have curries, so that works. So maybe get like red and blue could be your thing, or red and whatever this color is, like that teal turquoise looking color. Um, I, it's basically blue. Maybe that could be your thing. I don't know. I, the the green though is throwing me off a little bit. But honestly, this rig looks killer, man. This thing looks intense. Like it really probably is fun to drive. Underneath, now we're talking. Look at this, nice layout, really clean. Um, here's the motor. The only wires I see so far is this, and they are tucked and it looks like zip tied. Um, really, really kept out of the way. That is clean, man. Oh, and there's a wire right here, maybe, or no? I can't even tell if that's wire. Oh, right here. Here's your motor wires. So that maybe that's a sensor wire coming through. I can't really tell. So there is a wire coming through, but it's all black. Looks good. Here's a white wire kind of showing. Um, but come on, I mean, this is that's a clean setup super clean servo looks nice and clean i don't even see the wire that goes to the servo i guess maybe this right here which in that case it's i mean you can hardly even see it great job um this looks awesome man you're he's got scale drive shafts i love the scale drive shafts uh the links look great everything's abused underneath which means he does not hold back he really does just throttle on this thing you can tell i love it this is a great rig i i think this is one of my favorites so far on the show just based on the fact that it's built to function without throwing scale out the window um he's still got a lot of scale in here and i'm also noticing this looks like we've got some beef patties or maybe some disc brake action going on up here in the front axles i like that i'm not really sure what those are maybe they're are they the vanquish wheel weights I'm not sure, you guys. Let me know in the comments if you can figure that out for me. He doesn't have them in the back, which leads me to believe that it's definitely weight added to the wheels up here for performance. Um, I like that. I like that. Looks like brakes up there. So, great job. Let's keep it moving. There's my man, Micaiah. Ah, oh, yeah, bro. If you guys don't know about this guy, he is 
quite the builder. If you look behind him here, sorry put your face all on camera, bro, but look behind him. If you guys watch my Axial Fest videos, you will have seen both of these already. Um, they caught my eye at Axial Fest. I thought they were great, and if I remember right, he's I don't remember if he's won awards or not. It's, I'm having a hard time remembering um, these ones too. This one back here, this green one, I think was on the video as well. So. Shout out to him, man. He's a great builder. He's a nice guy. He's always at Axial Fest. You'll see him getting around. And to the last guy, this is what I mean by a scale uh, toe strap. Here's one right here. This is way better than the chain idea. So definitely go get you one of these, brother. Um, but yeah, I dig this. Now, here's something that since we've got this here, I'm going to go ahead and touch on this. Your drivers, um, e it's fine. Yeah, there. I mean, we're limited on drivers. I can't really beat you up on drivers. I didn't beat up the last guy on drivers either. So, but this right here, shout out to the Ultimate Warrior, man. Rest in peace, Ultimate Warrior. If you guys don't know about Ultimate Warrior, you're either too young to know or you just weren't into wrestling back in the day. But if you were born in the '80s, chances are you watched a little bit of wrestling and. Uh, this was the man. Ultimate Warrior was crazy, bro. He's one of my favorites. Him and Sting and I think Andre the Giant were my favorites back in the day. So shout out to them. <laughs> and no, I don't still watch wrestling. I think it's retarded. But it, when I was a little kid, I thought it was great. Um, so yeah, this is good looking, man. And see, he's got the full Wraith interior, which allows for you know a full seat setup. You can have you know the full character with their legs. It's got an actual dash. You can add on to it, make it even better, which it looks like he did here. He's got some stuff going on. I'm not really sure if that is like a... Oh, that's the scale race pack setup. Okay, so that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. He's got the light bar setup going on up here, which looks actually really beefy, man. It looks like he's got some metal guards on it or whatever, so it's all rashed up a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if that's metal. It looks metal, but this is a great-looking rig. This I don't like. I don't like these here but i understand they're not body i mean i don't really know what they're there for honestly because you've got screws on there too maybe it's to keep these from popping off because they've been popping off so maybe you pull those and it looks like maybe you can slide it over and then lift it off is that what i'm seeing um if you're watching brother let me know in the comments what that's about uh just fill me in but i don't like seeing body clips it just takes away from the cool scale factor you got going on here but it, all in all it's not bad man it's really not a lot to complain about um, looks like Harley Quinn over here is rocking her five point harness, which is awesome. I like to see that. Uh, Ultimate Warrior is just so tough, you don't need one, apparently. <laughs> and is that everything? I think. No, we got here's our action shot, which I'm not going to lie, it's a horrible shot, bro. <laughs> I can't really see what's going on, but it does show me that your truck works, which I believed, anyways, from all that rash on it. Uh, so, shout out to that. Um,. Yeah, there's another side shot. Harley Quinn side, driver side. Looks good. Same as the other side. Um, there's the back. That looks good. I like the panel work here. You did a good job on the panels. This looks awesome. This looks really awesome. I like the panels. Um, links look a little out of whack maybe. <laughs> like, I'm not really sure about that. Like this one maybe took a hit or maybe both of them took a hit. This one goes boom. Like it's got a little dent right here a little kink here this one maybe they're just bent links and they're rotated i'm not really sure but looks good man it looks good great job on this build um here's the front shot looking nice uh really not a lot for me to say or complain about here um some winch action would be cool i can't tell if you got a winch on there or not but that's it man that's all we got for this one it's a great build it's thorough it looks like it's used a lot and just beat on really hard so i mean this is what i like to see honestly this is what i really like to see it's got a lot of custom fabrication it's got uh well thought out part selection um looks like he put a little of his own uh taste into it you know he he put a lot of cool little touches like the dash um just little things i i like it man he did a great job so shout out to micaiah from what was it redding redding yeah redding california shout out to makai from norcal redding california so on to our next build you guys and be sure to give him some feedback in the comments let him know what you would like to see improve let him know what you really liked about it and i just noticed these he's got 
uh, looks like the little light pods tucked up under there. I didn't see those before. So awesome. That is even better. I don't like the Phillips screws, but that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. See, that's what I'm talking about, the little things. Uh, definitely a well-thought-out build. So thank you very much for submitting, sir. And uh, don't forget to check out your score on the website. So on to the next build, everybody. Let's do it. All right, you guys. Our third and final submission today comes from Scott Fluker. Fluker or Flucker? I am so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Scott. Um, I do know this gentleman. He is a, a buddy of mine. I've he's actually uh, he's friends with a lot of folks here in the states, even though he's not from the states. Uh, he always seems to make it to Axial Fest, and it's where you can personally see these builds now i know you guys are wondering what's going on here because we have three builds but um i'm just letting you guys drool on his work here because the one we're actually featuring today is the middle one and that's that's the one we're going to be going over it's the eric miller um ultra four buggy and that's that's the one we're going to go over but i'm just letting you guys drool on these because all three of them are amazing so hopefully we will see all of these submitted uh over time now he is from, uh, like I said, he's from Brinsmead Carnes QLD Australia. I really don't know how to even say all that or if I'm saying it correctly. But 49 years old. He has been subscribed to Extreme Scale Performance for only two weeks, Scott. What? Well, you know what? I'm going to give you a pass, man. I'm going to give you a pass because you're a great guy. You're always nice. But, uh, bro, we've known each other for a couple years now. All right. So, let's see. He started building RCs in 1986, so that is a long time ago. I was actually only two years old when he started building RCs, so he is what I would definitely refer to as a uh, veteran in this in this industry. <laughs> um, his project is axial based, axial based, and uh, it is the Eric Miller 4421 Ultra 4 replica. Um, as far as his detailed parts and paint list go, uh, let me go ahead and get into breaking this down for you guys. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, just to let you guys check these out while I read through this. Um, whoo, it's kind of long. So, steel brake line, 316th uh, cage, silver soldered, 45%. Um, wraith skid, stainless steel all thread links, and stainless tube outer, custom stainless rear trailing arms, laser welded. Uh, laser welded, Lord. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that. This guy does laser welding. If you follow him on Instagram, you can see some pretty impressive stuff. Um, axial transmission with Robinson gears and slipper, Junefac drive shafts, all stainless steel hardware. Uh, as far as his axles go, they are narrowed AR60, um, heavy duty underdrive overdrive gears, axial universal shafts, VP scale knuckles and C hubs, VP truss, ARB front diff cover, SSD rear, SSD steel wheels, uh, crawler innovations foams, 1.9 pitbull growlers trimmed, he has stainless steel drag link, uh, custom laser welded stainless sway bar arms, that's gangster, and G made shocks. Um, Electronics. He has a Tekken RX-8, Tekken Pro 4, 3300 KV, Savix SG-1230, so the SG-1230. Um, the CC BEC, so crawl, uh, Castle Creations BEC, uh, KMS 220 ounce free spool winch, Hey OK winch controller, Hey OK King of Hammers uh, light set or KOH light set. Um, 2W, is that 2 watt COB rock lights and headlights? I don't know what the 2W stands for. Um, Spectrum 4 channel receiver. And then for the body, he's got hood and sides are um, 0.5 millimeter aluminum. Roof is 0.6 millimeter titanium. Whoa, titanium roof panel. That's gangster. Uh, original rap file was sourced from Heavy Metal Concepts. Many thanks to Will and Eric, he says. Um, accessories, laser welded stainless scale fire extinguisher. Man, this thing is taking it up a notch. Uh, functioning swing away mirrors, complete with hinged mounts and 1.4 millimeter screws. Rear tow line is retractable keychain. Uh, titanium fuel cell with exoterra decal. Uh, spare deluxe locker, titanium battery tray with elastic cord tie downs, and it holds two 2200 3S lipos so that is pretty intense man for a total of 4400 milliamps on board um 
In summary, he says, this car was built in 2015 and its first big outing was the 20,000 mile trip from the far north of Australia to Cisco Grove, California, Axial Fest 2015. And that is actually where I met him for the first time. Uh, the complete build is on rccrawler.com. It says uh, it still gets driven regularly and because it was built with Primo parts, there have been zero failures. That's impressive. Uh, it is showing a lot of trail rash these days that gives it some character. I have fresh skins to put on, but used and not abused is how it looks. Um, build classification. There's Oh, he doesn't put a classification. You know what I'm just realizing, guys? Is on this one and I believe on the last one, there actually was not a classification listed, maybe. Um, and I mistake that. I made a mistake on that myself. So... Uh, there was no classification for this one or the other one, but they are both Ultra 4 buggies, obviously. So um, Now, as far as rating his own build on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, he says he rates it a 7. Now, as far as who he would like to thank or give a shout-out to, uh, he would like to give a shout-out to Eric Miller, the king, he says, <laughs> and uh, Will Gentile from Heavy Metal Concepts for giving permission to use the original body wrap file. Uh, without that, this might be just another Jeep. And he says his wife, he would definitely like to thank his wife for letting him lock himself in his workshop for hours. So shout-out to Scott's wife. She is obviously one of the cool ones. So... Anyways, you guys, now that we know about this build, let's go ahead and get into it. I gave you guys plenty of time to drool over his work. I've been drooling over it. Really phenomenal. So let's go ahead and mob through these. Here's the first picture, and it looks like we're actually missing here. It's cut off a little bit, but we'll work with what we've got. Um, looks like he took this photo in a scale garage, got the Miller Motorsports uh, signed 4421 uh, uh, Rugged Radio's poster in the background i don't know if you guys see that but it looks like it's signed by the man himself um now let's see first thoughts initial thoughts what do you guys think man what what is your first thought i went to this one because the last photo it's kind of kind of hard to really give an initial thought off that i mean your initial thoughts there is wow amazing it looks like a one one picture um but you go over a little bit now we can see let's really get into this um it's amazing. It looks like it just got out of the King of Hammers, personally. Uh, look at this rash right here, like trail rash. This is, that's so scale. I, I don't even know how to put that into words. That is so scale. The only thing unscale is these giant bolts, but there's no way around that right now. Um, wow, dude, the mirrors laser welded on. Is that what he said? I mean, holy cow those look like they've actually been able to take impact from rock and hold up I mean look how beat this is and they're they're still on there so I mean unless he just put them on for the picture I don't th that's phenomenal um definitely been on its lid a couple of times as you can see there's some rash up in there uh, let's see up front here's his winch hook set up here all right I like that uh, looks like he's got the Fox piggyback shock set up. Those are actually G maids, I know, because I have the same ones. Um, wow, man. I just, I don't know where to begin. This is just phenomenal looking. Uh, the panel work is great. I love the decals are awesome. Like, the wrap is just, it's dead on. This thing looks killer, man. The sway bar set up in the back. He said this was all, like, he laser welded this. And, I mean, that's true stuff. If you go look at his page, you can see the laser welding work. The wheels look great. Um, I do have to say, not a fan of no scale hubs, though. You went all this way. I'd like to see some more scale hub action. But, man, wow. All right, let's go on to the next one. Here you guys can see this is his tech sheet, it looks like, from 2015. Or his tech sticker. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Proof, proof of attendance. <sighs> Excuse me. This looks awesome, man. Look at this thing. Now, this is supposed to be interior shots. He didn't really give me much of an interior shot here, but he gave me a mirror shot, which I can appreciate because it's just so cool looking. Um, looks great, man. Let's keep it moving, though. I want to see some more on this. There we can see some of that laser welded work back here. Look at that. Those are actually real laser welds, you guys. So, 
huge fan of that. I, I want a laser welder. They're a little out of my league, but I really want one of these things, man, because I... That you can't get any scaler than that. That's the most scale stuff you'll ever see is later laser welded stuff. Man, wheels look good. He's got all his scale hardware on there, so I'm liking that. Uh, would like to see some scale hardware in here too, and see some scale hubs. But looking great. This this is a cool build, man. This is this is a really cool build. Woo! Look at all this back here. That is a laser welded hand built fire extinguisher. Wow, I don't even know what to say, man. What do you what do you say to that? Like what do you you guys I hope you're giving me some feedback. Like definitely give him some props in the comments on this build. Look at this scale rash. Like it's just it's beat up and just oh he's got his toe his toe strap here, scale recovery strap, but what's even cooler is he's got a custom made like uh I'm pretty sure this is a laser welded uh, holder for it that holds it in place that is crazy that is so cool oh man it's just spare parts spare locker back here <laughs> I'm sorry but this is or is that a spool this is the coolest thing I've seen in a while here's the front end look at how beat up the nose is on this <laughs> yeah that is sweet Oh, that's too cool. Looks like this uh, front end here, this piece is all handmade. Uh, definitely, that's a handmade piece um, for the grill. Got the fair lead tucked into it, all functional. Um, this is just, this is a great build, man. ARB covers on there for the diff. Uh, on axle steering, which isn't the most scale, but it is. It is, uh, as far as performance goes, it is better than having the CMS kit. This thing's just amazing. I'm sorry, but this is just, it gets me excited just looking at this. Oh, he's got scale hubs up front. Okay, so that's great. So he did do the scale hubs up front, just didn't do them in the back. And um, maybe he just did that because obviously you don't have any lockers in the back or anything. And it's fairly scale at first glance anyways, so I understand maybe that's why he did it. Um, this thing, though. Good lord, this is a good looking build, man. I really like this. Like, I really, really like... What is that? Is that a scale pull pal? Like, is that what that is? A recovery tool right there? Man, so much detail. And then look at the background. He's got this awesome scale garage going on. This looks great. And this looks like a 2.2 rig next to his 1.9 rig. So he's got different sizes there. Which we're not gonna get even into that. That's a whole nother whole nother ball of wax, man. Scott, you definitely killed this, man. This is some next level stuff. That's an awesome shot. Looks so realistic. I really like this. Just how you came look at the clasp and everything, like that's ah. Uh, really, really good stuff here. Alright, underneath. Wraith skid, just like you'd said. Uh it looks like custom link mounts here. Did you say those were laser welded too, if I remember right? It's just crazy. Um, drive shafts look like they're definitely uh, getting used. Look at all this rust and scratch marks on them. Um, links look like maybe this one's backing out a little bit on you. I'm sure you addressed that by now. But uh, These rear links, holy cow, man. Look at those. Those are crazy. Those trailing arms. And they're super short for trailing arms. But just what a great looking build. And oh, these upper links are really bent, man. That's I'm not so sure about those upper links. I don't I don't know if I like that all that much cuz those look really really twisted up and out of whack. Um I'm not even sure if they really match, honestly. So not the biggest fan of those rear upper links. I would like to see some actual straight links or just yeah, just straight links would be nice. I don't, I'm not sure what's up with the curve. Um, maybe you did that so that the, I don't really know why you did that. I'm not. Sh I'm not so sure. Um, this looks like lights. Is that undercarriage lights right there. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. And then, what else we got? Any more? Did I miss anything on there? Lockouts. I don't see any brake action. I could be wrong, but um, let's keep it going. 
yeah it's looking good man this is a good looking rig I like these he's got his D-rings on here or his shackles um, I like the winch setup coming out the back too or the recovery rope thing that he's saying and this is actually a keychain re uh, retractable keychain got the gas tank set up with the this is actually the fuel tube coming in here or the filler tube um, got the lights up top the ultra four lights this thing is on point man really something else yeah really really something else different diff in the back as well and it looks like that's it that's all the pictures we got of this so I'm impressed um, what I did not see here though is an action shot I did not see an action shot of it in motion so that's kind of a bummer I would have liked to see the action shot of it um, I also do not see a picture of you sir so uh, yeah and no proof shot however I am familiar with Scott I have met him and I have actually seen these bad boys driven so I do know how they get down they tear it up so Big, big shout out to Scott for submitting. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been a great episode. A lot of great submissions today. I'm hoping Scott's going to go ahead and submit these other two that we're seeing here as well. Uh, they look axial based and I'd really like to see them on the show. Um, everyone, I, I really encourage you to go ahead and leave some feedback in the comments for everybody. Let them know what you think, what you appreciate about their builds, what you'd like to see improved. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for your patience and waiting for this delayed episode today because, like I said, it was my birthday yesterday. I needed a little time for me and uh, just, you know, I wanted to hang out with the wife and just have a day off. So, uh, thank you guys for granting me that. And uh, you know what it is, man. If you like this episode, you like what you see here, there's a lot more to come. There's a lot more already that has happened. I think we're going on 400 plus episodes of, of or just videos in general on this channel now. So, be sure to join up with the Scale Squad here. Get down, man. Um, I'm going to get up out of here. It's time for me to go get some food. I have not even eaten breakfast yet. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. You know what it is. Peace and chicken grease. I'm going to see you guys on the battleground. Yeah, yeah.